Hello, welcome to Blender Time. Thanks for tuning in. In this tutorial I want to show you how to create this object. I will guide and show you the process step by step. Let's begin. First we will enable the loop tools add-on. This is a very useful tool for modeling. Go to edit. Preference. Choose add-ons. Click on the search field. Type loop. Click on the loop tools checkbox to enable it. Click save preferences. If you want to disable loop tools. Just come back here. Uncheck loop tools. Click save preferences. Close the dialog box. Now let's start modeling. I press 7 on number pad for top view. Select the cube. Press X. Delete. Press Shift A. Mesh. Plane. Tab into edit mode. Make sure the plane is selected. Press 3 on the number pad for right view. Press R. On the number pad, key in minus 90. Enter. This rotate the plane 90 degrees counterclockwise. We do this because we will deform the plane in the Z axis later. Press 1 on the number pad for front view. Press S. Then on the number pad. Press 2. Press X. Enter. This scale the plane in the X axis. Press Ctrl R for loop cut. Left click. Then right click. This places the loop in the center of the plane. Press A to select all. Right click. Subdivide. At bottom left, click on subdivide tab. Click on number of cuts. Key in 7. Enter, then click on tab to close it. Click on this and this vertex to select them. Press S. Hold down shift and drag until about here. Left click. Holding down shift when dragging gives smaller increments. Select this vertex. Press and hold down control shift. Click on this vertex to select these faces. Press I for inset. Hold down shift and drag until about here. Left click to confirm. Now we create the hole. I rotate the view slightly. Go to shading. Change to a brighter matte cap to show you better. Press E for extrude. Drag until here. Left click. Press E. Drag until here. Left click. One more time. Press E. Drag slightly. Left click. Press I for inset. Drag slightly. Left click. Here, we have a hole with holding edges. I will zoom in and rotate the view to show you better. Now we will make the round hole. Press 1 on number pad for front view. Select this vertex. Press and hold down control shift. Click on this vertex to select these faces. Press I for inset. Hold down shift and drag until about here. Left click to confirm. Right click. Choose loop tools. Circle. Press S to scale. This adjusts the size of the hole. Press I for inset again. Hold down shift and drag until about here. Left click to confirm. Press X. Choose faces. Notice these vertices are too close to each others. So we select these four vertices. Press S drag until about here. As you can see, the topology now is more even. Now all we have to do is smooth and bend the plane. First, tab into object mode. At the right side of the screen, click on modifier icon. Add modifier. Choose subdivision surface. Click on view. Key in 3. Enter. Right click. Shade smooth. Click on add modifier. Choose simple deform. 
Click on Bend. Click on Angle. Key in 90. Let's change the mat cap. Click on Shading. Mat cap. Choose a shiny mat cap. I rotate the view to show you the shading of this object. As you can see, the shading is very nice. You can adjust the curvature of the object easily. Just left click on the angle. Drag left. Drag right. You can also change the axis of the bend as well. Just click on axis. Choose C. Left click on angle. Drag left and drag right to change the curve of the plane. I rotate the view again to show you the shading. That conclude our lesson today. I hope you have learned something from this tutorial that you can use in your modeling. I will be uploading more hard surface modeling tutorials very soon. You can subscribe to this channel so you don't miss them. If you have any question, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and have a great day.